गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम हियर विथ फाइबर टू फैब्रिक पार्ट वन ऑफ सेवेंथ स्टैंडर्ड इन सिक्स क्लास यू हैव रेड अबाउट द प्लांट फाइबर सो हियर वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एनिमल फाइबर उल सेलेक्टिव ब्रीडिंग उल फ्रॉम डिफरेंट एनिमल्स एंड फ्रॉम फाइबर्स टू उल सो लेट एस स्टार्ट द सेशन फर्स्ट इट इज अबाउट एनिमल फाइबर common animal fibers are wool and silk and we all know that wool is obtained from different animals like sheep goat yak camel llama alpaca etc and silk is obtained from silk worm here it is the picture of sheep and goat you may find that how hairs are present on their body this is about yak and camel this is about llama and alpaca so all these animals are producing wool this is silk worm this silk worm is responsible for producing the silk fiber and which is also the animal fiber now let us see about the wool as we have discussed and seen different animals which are producing wool and these animals are sheep goat camel yak llama alpaca and some other animals also so this wool is obtained from the flesh of these animals flesh is the thin layer of skin consisting of hair so the hair is skin of sheep has two types of fiber one is the coarse fiber another is the soft fiber coarse fiber is the beard hair and soft fiber is the under hair that is close to the skin so these animals have thick coat of hair on their body and this hair trap the air and air being a poor conductor of heat so the heat will not escape out so this hair helps in keeping their body warm the most common wool is the sheep wool but yak wool is common in tibet and ladakh why because these animals are commonly found in this cold places the wool obtained from angora goats is very soft wool so that is why they are used for making shawl and this angora goat is found in jammu kashmir camel hair is also used as wool in south america llama and alpaca yield wool so from their bodies the hairs are taken out and the wool is formed let us see what is the selective breeding selective breeding it is a process of selecting parents for obtaining characters in their offspring so male and female parents are selected and they are cross breed so that their offspring have certain good characters such as soft hair in sheep is called as selective breeding now let us see wools from different animals first is sheep there are different varieties of sheep found in our country and mostly the wool which is available in market is of sheep wool next animal is yak and this wool is found in or very common in tibet and ladakh why because these animals are found there next is angora goat angora wool is obtained from angora goat and uh, these goats are found in jammu and kashmir and they are very larger in size the under hair of kashmiri goat is very soft so they can be woven into fine shawls and these shawls are called as pashmina shawls very soft shawls next one is camel 
Fur of camel is also used as wool. In South America, llama and alpaca also yield wool. Now the next topic is about fiber to wool. How the fibers are formed into wool. So first for obtaining wool, we have to rear sheep. So then after rearing, the hair is cut and processed into wool. So it includes two processes, two steps. First is rearing and breeding of sheep. In our country, like Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, Sikkim, Arunachal Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan, Gujarat, sheep are reared. They are kept for obtaining wool. And these sheep are fed on grass and leaves. And along with grass and leaves, they are also fed with mixture of pulses, corn, jar, oil cakes and minerals. In winter, they used to keep their seeds indoor and fed on leaves, grains and dry fodder. Some breeds of seeds have very thick hair on their body and this breed yields good quantity of wool and they are also in uh, good quality as well as good quantity. So these are selectively bred to get sheep of good breed. Second step is processing of fiber into wool. This processing of fiber into wool is done in six different steps. First is the shearing. So let us see what is the shearing. So the flesh that is hair along with thin layer of skin of the sheep is removed from its body by machine. And this process of removing of flesh of the sheep is called as shearing. Now after shearing, the seared skin with hair is washed in tank in order to remove grease, dirt and dirt which are present over the skin. And this process of cleaning process is called as a scouring. Third process is called as sorting. In sorting, the hairy skin is sent to factories where hair of different textures are separated. So the separation of hairs on the basis of texture is called as sorting. Now next is process is called as picking. In this case, the small fluffy fibers and they are called as burrs. So what are burrs? They are the small fluffy fibers, soft fibers are separated from the hairs and they are again washed and dried. This process is called as picking. After picking, the hairs are dyed in different colors and this coloring is called as this coloring of fibers is called as coloring. Then the fibers are straightened and combed and rolled into yarn. The longer fibers are made into wool for sweaters and shorter fibers are spun and woven into woolen cloth. So this process is called as straightening and combing. Here you can see the shearing shearing machine here also with the help of machine the process of shearing is done here you can see a scoring here it is the picking coloring strengthening and combing this is the woolen fiber as well as woolen fabric thank you for any kind of doubts please write your question in comment section